Hello everyone, my name is Mouse, and today I would like to show you the updates to my Wither Skeleton farm for Minecraft 1.11 and 1.12. The purpose of these videos is to update the community as they help me to fully optimize elevator-based Wither Skeleton farms. Over the weekend, both ETA740 and TT informed me that dispensed pumpkins do not remove mobs from the mob cap. Today we will test this and make updates to our farm. Here we see a simple spawning experiment. I have summoned in 71 wither skeletons filling the mob cap. As you can see, no additional mobs are spawning. If I drop pumpkins for these wither skeletons, We can see now that additional mobs are spawning. If I repeat the experiment, with 71 wither skeletons, but instead I dispense my pumpkins, we can see that no additional mobs are spawning, confirming that dispensed pumpkins do not remove mobs from the mob cap. Because dispensers do not remove mobs from the mob cap, we will update our farm to use droppers. Here I have marked where the dispensers used to be using these nether wart blocks. I have placed one dispenser at each intersection atop these pistons. This dispenser is powered by the conveyor. In the future, it will have its own clock, but for now, this primitive system will serve as an excellent proof of concept. In order to maximize the rates of the pumpkin droppers, we need to maximize the rates of the conveyors. To do this, we add two additional helmets to this chest. In addition, we set this repeater to two redstone ticks. This procedure needs to be repeated for the clock on the other end of the farm. After replacing dispensers with droppers, a three-hour test this afternoon confirmed that the full perimeter design is now producing over 8.5 skulls per minute. This is especially exciting as there are several areas where there is room for additional improvement. TT recently developed a 30 meter per second elevator that will eventually replace our 16 meter per second elevator. In addition, the rate at which pumpkins are dropped for mobs has not been fully optimized. Finally, I hope to implement a new geometry that will limit the fall time of unwanted mobs. What I want now is for one or more members of the community to independently verify my results. In the description, I have included a copy of the world download that includes a copy of the full perimeter design with the changes I've made today. I'm happy to answer any questions, leave me a comment, or send me a message.